The, this sure. next seven series of slides has a whole story to it with um, the ad campaign. I think it was in Scotland. Walk us through this journey. Okay, so here's, and, and again, now think back of everything that I've said uh, in this little interview and think about the lessons. And I, I go to Scotland, I'm shooting for doers. There's a lot of money on the line. There are a lot of clients, I have a crew. I'm supposed to shoot salmon fishing in Scotland's River Tweed. And I have these images in my mind of this tumbling brook and beautiful salmon leaping and gorgeous light. And we get there and it looks like the East Sandusky River. <laughs> it's a river without drama. So everything I thought was gonna happen, it wasn't happening, at least when we got there. And so I start to dig into what does happen here. What is this really about? What's the story? And I find that fishing in Scotland is a very formal affair. They have guides and gillies that know each stretch of the river uh, that are, are dressed in a coat and a tie and chest waders. And they have a leather book on each bead of the river that has every salmon caught in it in the last 150 years. And now I was getting intrigued. Now I'm getting into it. And then I'm listening. I'm listening to where is the story going to be? And at that point, one of the gillies uh, says, you know, there was mist on the water this morning. Do it. That's unusual for this time of year. And I climb all over it. And I said, well, that's my place of most potential. So I'm out there the next day and I've got the fishermen and I got the boats and I got the ghillie and I got a moon set and I got room up there at the top of the frame for type. And, and I know what I'm doing, you know, and I got my first right answer. But then there's something in my intuition said, turn around to it. And I turned around and now there's this beautiful purple light coming up. And so I got the two gillies up there in silhouette, the gilly and the fisherman, uh, and got another right answer. And then I realized that the sun is going to come up behind those trees down there. So I yelled at the guys to get in the boat. They rode down there. And now I was getting just right answer after right answer after right answer as the sun changed. And talking about having my technique down, I've got a walkie-talkie in that boat, so I'm able to have him, them move exactly where I want them in the frame. And here's the final frame that said, uh, why would a man rise before dawn to fish for salmon on Scotland's River Tweed? Why indeed, the good things in life stay that way. And that was one of the most successful ads they ever had. It's like being behind the scenes of a movie production, right? I mean, you see this, and you never, as the consumer, appreciate the art and the, the, the heart that goes into building to this crescendo. It's beautiful. Yeah, if you think back to the initial image, which was awful, to thinking that there's more than one right answer, to pushing for that, to putting yourself in the place of most potential, and then not stopping, you know, I could have stopped at the first one, it would have been a good ad, it wouldn't have been as good as the last one. Uh, not being afraid to make mistakes, pushing myself toward that, and, and, and doing it as a both and with all my, with all my technique there at the ready.